what are we doing today, Jim? Hello, we are going to set up a Dauntless Evaporator in our yard. Welcome to the Schumacher residence. We have always ran really high performance evaporators and we have a lot of videos of those in our showroom. And we have a lot of people asking us to set up in their situation. Often their situation is in their backyard and with a smaller evaporator. Um, they don't have a dedicated building. So this is going to apply to Starcats and Dauntlesses? Specifically the Starcat and Dauntless, which is nearly the same evaporator, just two different sizes. Dauntless evaporator that we're setting up, it's already assembled. It's already been fired once because on leap day this year we ran it in our showroom. We did a demonstration with a, a large group of people and we boiled on it for about two hours in our showroom and that is the evaporator that we uh, disconnected from our showroom. We brought it home and we're going to run it here. I'm just starting to level a surface where we can set the Dauntless. Now the, the Dauntless and Starcat both have a tire and wheel kit available as options. Um, we chose not to do that because not everyone has a tire and wheel kit to easily wheel the evaporator around. So I've already started to set up a pad here. So it looks like you measured out like the footprint of the evaporator. That's right. So the evaporator is, the footprint of the Dauntless is 20 inches. The base is 20 inches by 48 inches. So what I'm aiming to do is go just a little bit wider and a little bit longer. Yeah. So, and then what I chose to do is I chose one corner as an average mean at which, at which to um, start leveling. So I chose this corner. From this point right here, I'm gonna level the three remaining bricks. And this one, you can see I did some scooping here and we do a frost in the ground yet. So as that frost comes out of the ground, this really should be checked from time to time and, and adjusted accordingly. And that's all part of the backyard boiling operation. We always it's do just a part of it. Every year, yep. So you can look here. You want the evaporator to be perfectly level because the pan ultimately needs to be level. To safely run the pan, um, we try to keep about two inches of depth in it, and we can't have one one corner uh, deep and the other yeah, one light. Not yeah. very much. It should be very close to the same. So that's why starting with a level foundation makes the whole program go easier. Yep. So all right. So, so with that, is, the this, length is level there. Uh, this brick is. So now I'm going to go to this brick again. I'm using this cornerstone to level the remaining three bricks, and that one's a little bit high, just like. Just like this one was and the top couple of inches is pretty soft so of our driveway. in our uh, in our limestone gravel that we have here um, it's pretty easy to scoop it around and there I went a little bit deep I guess but okay so that one is now perfect Perfect, cool. And now this one I can see I'm going to have to raise it. We had a pretty cold night and it is now thawing out. Anyway, the date today is March 15th of 2020. And the coronavirus is not going to stop us from boiling sap. Heck no. Getting outdoors is not canceled. No. Maple season is not canceled. Very little of what Angel and I do will be canceled. Our shop is still going to be running regular hours. Everything it's just usual. Yeah, and we are taking the extra precautions um, that the CDC has given us guidelines for. And again, tomorrow we may need to re-level this as the frost shifts around. And that's perfect. Now I'm going to pull some measurements again. we're perfect all the way around. So hang tight, I'm gonna wheel the evaporator out and we'll set it in place.
there it is. It's all set and it's level and it's stable. Um, it feels a little bit strange setting it up on such soft ground, but this is this is March and this is Maple Land, and it's a very practical, common situation. Yep. Cool. Let's get the bricks in. Yeah.